the final leg in our Middle Eastern road trip concludes this week with the Abu Dhabi Tour. A refreshed structure this year, including a 12 kilometers time trial on stage four. Focusing on today's opening stage though, and it's one for the sprinters, at least on paper. An out and back route of 189 kilometers, starting and finishing in Madinat Zayad via the Liwa Desert. Mark Cavendish won the stage into Madinat Zayed last year, but the race hadn't even got out of the neutral zone when a crash right behind the Commissaire's car took out Dimension Data's star sprinter. Signs of concussion meant that it was impossible for Cavendish to continue. We wish him a very speedy recovery. When the race finally did get underway, a five-man group escaped as soon as the flag dropped. They were Vincenzo Albanese of Bardiani CSF, Damiano Caruso of BMC, Nikolai Trusov of Gazprom Rosvelo, Tom Scoynes of Trek Segafredo, and Charles Planet of Novo Nordisk, who you may remember won the intermediate sprints jersey at the Dubai Tour. Wide flat desert roads plus a tailwind equals some very fast racing in the first hour. They were averaging over 48 kilometers an hour by the time they hit the first intermediate sprint in Liwa. At first glance, any one of these riders might have won it, but it was Trusov who edged it in a photo finish. It was much easier to pick out the winner of the second intermediate sprint at kilometer 129, however. Scoynes hoovered up the bonuses with a short but sweet attack before quitting the breakaway to save his energy for another day. After their excursion through Liwa, the race was heading back along the Arrow Strait Desert Road to Madinat Zayed. The peloton now poised to make their final charge at just over a minute behind the four remaining leaders. Lotto Sudal, Mitchelton Scott, Quickstep Floors and Movistar were controlling the gap. Some last ditch attacks from Plan A and Caruso only delayed the inevitable and we were all back together with just under 15 kilometers to go. The final sprint was a tale of two sides with quick steps splitting to the left hand barrier. Meanwhile, Alexander Kristoff was biding his time on the opposite side of the road. And while Elia Viviani and Caleb Ewan faded in the headwind, the European champion dashed for the line with a strong well-timed kick, holding off Bardiani's Andrea Guardini for the win. Ewan managed to sneak third place from Viviani, while the other big names in the field, Andre Greipel and Marcel Kittel, took 10th and 15th place respectively. Kristoff will wear the leader's red jersey tomorrow, another pan flat day and another chance for the sprinters to go for the win. Do join us then and in the meantime please give us a thumbs up if you enjoy these videos.